Hey all, Mike here from allamerican.org and today we are revisiting a very popular topic on the channel and that is jeans made in the USA. It's hard to believe that it's been almost three years since my original Jeans Made in the USA video. It's been an awesome ride over the last several years. I really appreciate all the support that y'all have had to make this channel what it is today. And we're super excited about everything that we're gonna be doing in the years to come. Now, my last video on Jeans Made in the USA, I mentioned five American-made brands, and today I wanna to cover seven more. And in terms of material sourcing and manufacturing, since I covered a lot of those tips in the original video, you can check those out, and I won't belabor those points in this video. All right, so the five jean brands that we already covered in the previous video are American Giant, Bullet Blues, Dearborn Denim, Raleigh Denim Workshop, and Stovall and & Young. So we're gonna skip those guys today and give you seven fresh denim brands to go check out that are made in the USA. First up is Origin. Origin's been getting a lot of coverage on our channel, both in my videos and in your comments, and for good reason. They're based in Farmington, Maine, and pretty much all of their clothing is Berry Amendment compliant, including a lot of the jeans that I've picked up from them. So this is uh, one of their light wash pairs of jeans. It has quickly become my favorite pair. They are super comfortable and really, really durable. They have a lot of different options in their online store, so make sure to check them out if you want something for work or just everyday wear. Next up is Weissmade. Weissmade is a relatively new denim manufacturer that's based in Petaluma, California. I had the pleasure of talking with Nick Weisler, the founder and CEO of the company, and they have a really cool story. Nick prioritizes a 100% domestic supply chain all the way from the cotton farming phase to final production. They have a few styles to choose from so far, but I love the raw selvage denim from Weissmade, so definitely give them a look. Next up is Texas Jeans. Contrary to their name, Texas Jeans, not made in the state of Texas. They're based in Asheboro, North Carolina, but make a great pair of work and casual jeans. Everything's really rugged from relaxed to slim fit. They use American cotton in all of their jeans and do all of their weaving at Mount Vernon Mills, which was founded in 1845, I believe. And they are in Malden, South Carolina, one of the oldest denim factories in the US. If you want a rugged and flexible work jean, check out Atlas 46. They're another great option. They're based out of Fenton, Missouri and have a reinforced triple stitch inseam. So those guys are not going anywhere. It's gonna be really tough to rip them. Unfortunately, some of their materials are imported. Everything's handmade in the US though, and they have a lot of different style options to choose from depending on what your work demands. Next up is Jinu USA. Jinu USA is based in Portland, Oregon, and they are a Native American owned and operated business. They have a lot outside of just jeans in terms of other apparel and accessories, but they really prioritize domestic manufacturing, which is awesome. They get a lot of their denim from Vidalia Mills, which is based in Vidalia, Louisiana, who also has a similar mindset. Their supply chain is incredibly local around that area, but Juno USA, another great option for denim. Next up is Telesen. Telesen Jeans is based in San Francisco, California, so if you're looking for a San Fran-based alternative to the probably most well-known jean brand on the planet, Levi's, which is also headquartered there, then Telesen is a really good American-made alternative. They get a lot of their denim from Cone Mills, which was established in 1891. They're based in Greensboro, North Carolina, and have a great system around sustainability and traceability of the, a lot of the raw materials that go into their denim. Telesen has a lot of different styles to choose from, so you should be able to find something that you like, and they have a really awesome attention to detail. Things like the stitching inside the back pocket and other little small details that you may glance over, they really pay attention to, so it ends up being a really high quality final product. And the last brand I'll mention in today's video is Shaco Atelier. These guys are based in Richmond, Virginia, and hand make some really high quality denim. They source their denim from Mount Vernon Mills in Georgia, as well as the Vidalia Mills factory that I mentioned previously in Louisiana. 
They have a few different styles to choose from in their online store, but what's really unique about them as well is that they have lifetime repairs. So if your jeans rip or tear or whatever, you can send them back in and they will repair them and ship them right back to you. In terms of big brands in the industry and where they're actually made, I mentioned three of probably the most popular jean manufacturers in my previous video and uncovered where they are actually made, and that's Levi's, Carhartt, and Wrangler. So make sure to check out that video if you're curious about their manufacturing. We also have write-ups on allamerican.org for those three brands, but I figured I'd mention a few more that I'll link in the description below as well for y'all to check out our research on. And those four brands are Dickies, True Religion, American Apparel, and American Eagle. Obviously, there are a lot of other denim and jean manufacturers out there that are doing a lot of overseas manufacturing. Those are four of the more popular names in the US. If there's any others that you want us to look into, definitely give us a shout. We have a lot more investigations and research on clothing companies that also make denim on allamerican.org so you can dive into our brand investigation section in order to look at all of those and where these brands are actually manufacturing all of their products. Alrighty y'all, that's it for this video on revisiting jeans made in the USA. If y'all have any questions, make sure to leave a comment below or shoot me an email or contact on social media or whatever. I'll help find an answer for you and hit you back. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for supporting your country and shopping American made. See y'all next time.